So why do we get so excited about new technology? Is it just the beauty of a brand new phone or what it represents? Our wealth, our ability to be trendy and aspirational. I mean, doubtless, this new technology has had an enormous effect on our lives. This you can navigate around, you can take pictures with it, you can even make phone calls with it, all on the same device. The idea of a smart home is tremendously exciting. Across a wide range of kitchen appliances, home cinema systems, lighting design, security systems and so on, there is something in it for everyone. Now it's easy to get swept up in the glamour of the home of the future. And it's exciting that we might be the first generation that gets a chance to grab that future and experience what in the past has just been the stuff of science fiction. But what is the reality? I mean, what does a smart home look like? And how do we get one? The IET recently published a code of practice for connected integrated systems. The book ensures that behind all the gadgets and big ideas, there are guidelines in place to make sure projects run smoothly. I helped to author the code of practice, and so I'd really like to show you how connected systems can enhance your environment. We're here at the Lutron Experience Centre in London to look at a few examples. A connected system can really enhance your home. Connected systems themselves are simply ones in which various components work together to make life simpler and to transform the ambiance or make certain functions easier. In a dining room, it's arguably all about mood settings. Of course, most people are used to lights being either on or off curtains being open or closed, and the temperature being, well, whatever it is. But in your home, the dining room can serve so many different purposes. By installing a system that brings lighting, heating, and window treatments together in various scenes, you can easily create the right environment for each of these purposes. So, you could have dimmed lights and blinds closed for a romantic setting. Or, when you're working, you could focus one set of lights brightly above the table with the blinds set to automatically open or close depending on the daylight levels. You could even have a cleaning setting so that the lights can come on and the room is brightened. Once the indulgence of those who could afford to spend millions on the renovation of large estates, we're now seeing more practical and accessible solutions on offer. Understanding how location, building fabric, power constraints, as well as system compatibility and configuration issues all impact on an efficient connected system is essential. Oh, <laughs> you've caught me red-handed playing with all these very fancy toys. I mean, there's plenty to get excited about with all these connected systems. I mean, it's almost like living in a fantasy world where every whim of your imagination is catered for. I mean, okay, making a coffee with an iPad might be a little bit unnecessary, you know, if I'm completely honest. But then again, perhaps it's the small stuff that will really drive change. That's where the revolution will come from. And perhaps that represents something too, the opportunity to free ourselves from our chores. Or is it something deeper, a yearning to be free of the day-to-day -day stuff that keeps us from having more time to become better, fitter, smarter? So in a world where time is in such short supply, imagine what we could do if we just had one extra hour a day. And that is where the connected home is really exciting because of what it can allow us to do next.